What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you the quickest way to complete Rule Breaker, McCool and the European Powerhouses, whoever you have decided to pick. So, for European Powerhouses, I've picked Bastion Sveinsteiger purely because I felt like that would be the easiest one to do alongside McCool because German, Bundesliga, it's kind of the same objectives. You, If you've picked Del Piero, Raul, Makaleli or Rijkaard, I imagine the objectives will be the exact same, except the nations and the leagues will be different, but the, the whole uh, assisting in 10 matches and that sort of thing will be the same. So, I've already done two of them. Uh, it's very easy. You just go on squad battles on semi-pro and you have at least four German players for me in your squad. It'll be Italian, Spanish, uh, Netherlands or whatever the other one is, French, yeah. Uh, for you if you haven't picked Schweinsteiger and then you also have to score 10 goals using Bundesliga players for me which was easy in two matches of squad battles I played it on professional just to get a little bit more points but um, yeah really really easy it could be La Liga for you Eredivisie um, Premier League maybe if uh, Makaleli on about is Chelsea uh, career I don't know who specifically or what it's telling you but it, it, it's quite easy and it'll be very similar to this now you also have to win one uh, win five matches with at least one German player that plays in the Bundesliga. So if it's Raul, it'll probably be a Spanish player in La Liga, that sort of thing. Um, quite easy, just have one of them in your squad and win five matches. This one is a piss take. It shouldn't take 10 matches. You can if you want. I know this is the quickest way. Uh, I want to do it legitly though, but if you want to save time, just invite one of your mates. Let him let you get an assist with German for me. Uh, but you know it could be French whatever for you but assist uh, using a German midfielder in 10 separate matches invite your mate let him sorry get him to let you do the assist and then he can back out and that should take you like 10-15 minutes but if you want to do it legitly follow exactly what I'm doing um, that's fair enough so that's for uh, the German genius uh, segment uh, for the European powerhouse the McCule objective, you need to assist four goals with crosses using Bundesliga players. So you'll see in my squad, I'm using a 4-4-2 just because it's the easiest way to float crosses in there. Uh, you need to assist five goals using French defenders. Um, I'll show you what I've done for that. Uh, French finishing score in six separate matches using French players. So one goal in six games, that's quite easy. Score 12 goals using Bundesliga players. Very easy, you just use a full Bundesliga squad, of course, and win six matches in the live foot friendly. So that's the annoying part, uh, because if you're doing all this other shit, like trying to get defensive uh, assists and everything, it, it might take you a bit longer to get the six wins. But the priority for me, because it's taken 10 games, is to make sure that I get an assist with a German midfielder. So this is the squad that I have built. Um, it's full Bundesliga squad. Not everyone's on chem. Uh, but yeah, we've got a full French defence, you know, for corners, hopefully uh, Upamecano and is it Konate, yeah, go up front, uh, well, in the box to try and get those corner hitters when I whip them in with uh, probably Turam, because uh, he's a left wing French Bundesliga player. These players will probably be on the increase, which is why I've invested in them. Uh, you could, of course, use Klosterman in centre-back if you want. Uh, I've got Sane for the pace and Turam because he's French. Um... So, you know, if he if he cuts in or whatever, I can potentially get the goal with him. I've got Pavard up front. I know he's off chem. I could sub him on so he starts with uh, better than two chem. Actually, I should change the manager to Bundesliga one. Um, instead of Klopp, we'll get rid of him. And we'll put a Bundesliga manager in there just to boost the chemistry as much as we can. Um, where the hell is Bundesliga? Uh, I've got to have a Bundesliga manager, surely. League... Bundesliga. If not, I can change one of them. Wow, I don't. Okay, so I'll put Klopp back in there and I'll I'll change his uh, manager league to Bundesliga. Uh, apply manager consumer, but I surely have a manager league. Uh, there we go, German one. So we'll change him to Bundesliga just to give us that chem on. Um, wait, what? It didn't give. Didn't give any chemistry. Well, that was a waste. But anyhow, Pavard's on two chem. Of course, to negate that, I could put. Uh, he Chan up front and then sub on Pavard but uh, to be honest I imagine most people would do, be doing this I've got Chan, Muller and Sane for the German assists and uh, obviously Haaland is nice and tall I've got his loan because it doesn't matter in friendlies you can use loans all you want because uh, he's tall 
and obviously so is um, Hernanez. So, you know, floating in the crosses, they're more likely to head them in. Uh, if I'm struggling for the French goal, I've got Cantona, uh, Cantona, bloody hell, Cantona uh, on loan, Diaby, you know, a bunch of other French players, Douglas Costa, if I'm really struggling, uh, if Turam's not great for the crosses. So I've got options. So yeah, let's try and do this as quickly as possible. I'll show you hopefully some gameplay, some you know completed objectives, and we'll get this as soon as possible. I'll tell you how long it took me personally. It's already took me half an hour uh, to do the two games of squad battles. So, so far we're on a 30 minute timer and we'll see how long it takes. All right, so let's see what we can get done. I'm probably gonna only show you the, the first match. Um, just, yeah, I won't show you the whole thing. I'll show you highlights, but yeah, you'll see the sort of things I'm trying to do, how I'm trying to do it quickly. Uh, so let's see what kind of team this guy's got. That's a very low chemistry team. I mean, he's got a goalkeeper in right mid. Uh, he's got Varane and Mendy, though, uh, in defence. McCule as a centre-back. Um, yeah, I feel like we can get some of these objectives done. Ugh. <sighs> Poor start. Poor, poor start. He Wan Chan, whatever the fuck his name is, Huan He Chan has scored um, after a bit of ticky tacker from the opponent, but it's fine. I think main thing is um, trying to get this midfield assist and then working on a few other things. There we go. That's a French assist, I think, because it was Hernandez who uh, scored that one. Oh, that's lovely. There we go. 2-1. I believe that was Chan who assisted that one. And we've got a French goal. I know I said Hernanez scored the last one. I meant assisted. So uh, that's a French centre-back assist and a German midfield assist as well as a French goal. So, yeah, we're doing all right. Hopefully we can get the win in the bag too. Right, there we go. Holland, 3-1. There we go. That's definitely a German assist. Uh, if I didn't get one last time, Muller definitely got that assist. And I think I'm going to bring on Mendy and we'll put Russell on there. Just, you know, in case we can get some more French uh, assists via a cross. But yeah, I, you know, he's, he's piling on the pressure now, so I want to hold on for the win. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Ah, oh, he's going to score. Yeah, nothing I could do there. I've tried to move the keeper, man. Fucking hell. I hate when you're controlling your defender and you just won't... Uh, like, you won't turn quick enough. So it gives the player a yard ahead of him. Ugh. Fuck's sake, man. There we go. I don't think that's anything, but it's a goal. So I'll do... All right, so as you can see, we are literally one objective away from completing McCule and we've already done the uh, German genius so we'll claim that all at the same time when we finish but yeah I've got one more game so I was prioritizing not the wins but everything else and the reason for that is the last game I was able to play this team um, just to go for the win I don't need any crosses or anything daft all I need is four Bundesliga players so we've got Konate, McCule, Costa and Diaby and then the rest of it is just a full powered team really well almost and then I've got players on the bench that I can bring on too so we're going to prioritize the win which is what I did the last game as well because I had all the objectives done bar the very last one so I would recommend you do that as well focus on getting all the bullshit out the way and then you can play a much stronger team to get your wins um, and yeah as I say I only needed two wins at that point because thankfully I managed to get some other ones oh I need five Bundesliga players. My bad. Fair enough. Well, I'm just going to change to Stegen. And I'll put a Bundesliga keeper in there. Because at the end of the day, keepers are just... Well, keepers really. Um, wait, I can use Berkey. Go on there. Yeah, there you go. I'll just... I'll stick Berkey in there. There you go. That should be enough. Yep. There we go. So anyhow, I'll be back when I've got that win and we'll claim the rewards. Right, so we have completed both the German Genius and record, uh, Rule Breaker McHugh. 
Oh, it took a few hours. Um, you know, it's the six wins that are really, really hard because, again, skill-based matchmaking is obviously in uh, friendly. So you're coming up against people who are very similar to you, who also know that you're trying to do things like get crosses, get assists with French defenders. They're trying to do the whole same thing. Um, so it can be really difficult because uh, it, it's it's narrow games most of the time, like, you know, a 2-1 or a... Well, on this game, a 5-4. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to claim everything. We're going to open everything. But, yeah, I'm excited to use this card, to be honest. Um, his base card I've been using in this uh, to complete the objective. And, yeah, he, he feels really, really good in-game. Uh, so, this one's got a monster upgrade, particularly on pace. Uh, so, I think so, anyway. I think he's got 83 on his base card. But, yeah. You get a bunch of packs, of course, so we will get that, and we will claim this record breaker. McCule, does he walk out? I hope he does, but we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, 300 XP there as well. It looks as though he will walk out. I, I just want to see what the uh, what the background looks like, really, uh, for rule breakers, because I might never pack one. Who knows? There he is. So yeah, it's a good card, and I'll probably fit him into a squad, definitely. Uh, I, I want to change up my weekend league squad just to try and play with different players. I want to go and get the Anarchy Williams. I want to go and get Ansu Fati. Uh, hopefully I can pack an untradeable uh, Lorente for the midfield. But yeah, there we go. So that's the quickest way to complete him. As I say, try and get all the other stuff done before you prioritise wins. Um... You know, if you can get a few wins like I did while you're doing that, then great. But yeah, it just means that you can use your monster team, give yourself a little bit of an edge when you need those uh, those wins. So yeah, we're just going to open all this uh, stuff. Uh, we might as well just open it in, in order, to be honest. There's not too much uh, great packs in there, but you never know. You never know. This is all untradeable, I imagine. So, you know, whatever, really. Um anything you can give would be fantastic so we're just going to take bonds there and we're going to discard him <sighs> so yeah um estimation i'll probably say it took me about hmm, what we're saying about nine games maybe plus the the two squad battles games for schweinsteiger's objectives so you're saying 11 to 12 games on average 15 minutes per game so yeah you're looking at three hours but i'll be con that's probably conservative with squad building and stuff like that we'll see this took about four hours in total to get both uh the european powerhouses and mccule done so four hours it, it, it's not too bad i suppose but again it, it just it depends how many wins how many losses you get whether your opponent backs out that sort of thing. Uh, I think I did get one uh, opponent who backed out when it was 2-0. Uh, so, you know, that saved me a little bit of time there. But aye, uh, it doesn't look as though we're going to get anything from these packs. But you never know. You never know. I'm hoping to get something from that Premium Electrum Players Pack, which is for the Schweinsteiger. And I'll have a quick look at what the rankings are. I know Del Piero's well out ahead. Probably should have picked him. But I, I like Schweinsteiger. Uh, yeah, uh, I've got... His shirt up there, I was just double checking uh, for when he, he joined Manchester United for, was it two seasons or was it just a season? I can't remember, but Louis van Gaal signed him, of course, uh, and yeah, it was at the end of his career, and he was far better for Bayern Munich. But anyhow, uh, no walk out there, no board, unfortunately. Um, it would have been nice to get uh, some other rewards, but yeah, I'm going to uh, get recording some of my uh, trading tips for tomorrow's Let's Play um, wait, I'm just going to double check if he's got anything as well as uh, grind out some of my weekend league games because obviously that got extended following the nightmare on Friday uh, that the EA servers were but yeah I'll quickly check this team event just before I end it uh, in the video so when it decides to load yeah uh, oh Schweinsteiger is not too far off to be honest so Schweinsteiger is second not that it seems to matter I, I, I don't understand because you just go and get a loan icon, so I don't know. But we'll, we'll see after four days what uh, what EA throw in. But hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.